Hi, welcome to Product Profile. Today I'll be showing you exactly how to use a conference room designer by Biamp. This piece of software allows installers to easily design an entire conference room from the ground up and even suggests all the equipment you need for the perfect audio visual experience. So let's jump straight into it with Daniel from Biamp guiding you through the process. Hi, I'm Daniel Hinton, Channel Manager for Biamp in the UK and Ireland. And today we're going to show you how to use Conference Room Designer, our free browser-based software that will allow you to configure and design your conference rooms quickly and easily. This can be accessed from the Biamp website, www.biamp.com. Go to the Support tab and open up Conference Room Designer. Here we have Conference Room Designer, and we ask for three simple things that will allow you to start populating your design and allowing you to produce a PDF at the end. So this is asking you for your project name, your company name, and the design engineer at the time. So we will just put in some information here, and we will begin the room design. So what we're going to ask you for first is some simple measurements of the room. So we're asking you to name your room potentially if you have multiple rooms you want to design. Um, this could be the name of the room already created or something that you can use as a reference, maybe a design for a tender. You can then look at the room dimensions and we've changed this to meters. And then you can look at the ceiling height and the ceiling tile dimensions. If there are ceiling tiles, you can specify if there are no ceiling tiles as well. What we'll then do is we move to add a table in the room. So we give you a few custom shapes that you can choose between. Um, and then we can you can put in your own table dimensions. And again, you can do this on feet or meters. Once we go to configure devices, we then get the chance to choose what, what we think we need in the room. So whether this is ceiling microphones, table microphones, pendant microphones, or using one of our new conferencing bars, whether with or without a camera. We're going to stick with ceiling tiles for the moment, but we can change that once we've pushed forwards. We can then choose if we want the coverage of the microphones focused on the table or for the full room coverage. In smaller rooms, you, you're probably looking for more of a focused, um, a full room system, where in larger rooms, you might want to just focus on the table because you'd need a lot of microphones potentially. And we get the same with the speaker coverage where we can choose between full room and focused. So we're going to stick with focused on the microphone and full room for the speakers. And we're going to add a camera in there as well, just in case we want to see what we can do with the camera. Now we're going to ask you about the room acoustics. Now there's a there's a simple link button under here saying what do these settings mean? What is the difference between a poor room and a perfect room? And you can open this up into a new window, and it, what this will show you is sample recordings, room acoustic settings. It will talk about the noise floor and the RT60 of the room. But this is the table we really want to have a look at, and this will tell you what we how we classify what the acoustic settings are for each room. So whether it's a poor room, because the background noise is more than 50 dBA and it's got a very high reverb time, or if it's a perfect room where it's, it's very quiet and there's no reverb time whatsoever. And as you can see, what happens is the, um, the better the room, the further the microphones will perform. And ultimately that means how many less microphones we need. Now, when you're going into a conference room, you can have a rough idea of what you're looking at here. You can, use a microphone on your mobile phone that will give you a um, DB level so you can then put that into the system and you can download an app there's multiple applications uh, I use audio tools and what this will allow you to do is check the reverb time as well and it will give you a good idea of what you're expecting in that room the only other way of doing it is by putting in a, a high-end microphone and running some software or using one of our Tessera's and running launch for the measurements but to give you a standard if you're walking into a room and to give you a standard thing check the measurements of the room open an app check the background noise and the reverb time and you should be nearly there at least enough to give a um a capable um solution so we're going to go with fair just as an example and we'll change that around in a second so we're going to go to product family and buy and give you two options so you can use devio devio and tessera both have launch but the difference with Tessera is if you're looking to do any programming to the room, added in any analog inputs, or ultimately if, it, if it's potentially going to be a difficult room where you do need to do some programming at the end, you would go with Tessera. So we're going to stick with Tessera now. The benefit of Devio is it, it works with buy and products. It's a one-click configuration, and you, you don't need to be any more complicated than that. It will go in, it will listen to the room, it will program itself using launch, 
Same with Sierra, but Devio is is the easier system. So what we have here straight away is we are looking at one microphone and two speakers because we went for the the focused uh, mic coverage rather than the full room. Now if we change that, what you'll see is we've moved from to two microphones and four speakers. You can play around with this. You can move the table. So if we go to the floor plan, we can move and turn around the table so you can suit this to the customer's design. Again, if you've got customers um, with specific needs, you can move these things around and put it anywhere in the room, depending on that. You can also move the door so you can really tailor make these designs to the customer's setting. You can change table shapes afterwards, table dimensions. It doesn't matter. You can change everything after the fact. Again, with the room dimensions, if, if the customer originally sends you a spec and then they go, oh, actually, sorry, it was it, the ceiling height's higher than what we thought it was, you can change that afterwards as well again with the ceiling if you've got ceiling grid you can move that around and you can get that to fit the customer's requirements if there's certain ceiling tiles you can't use because of air conditioning or lighting grids you can block these out as well quite simply on this um, screen and that will allow you to redesign where the microphones go and provide a better overall design for the customer Now we've moved and we've closed, um, we've moved the table and closed over the ceiling um, tiles. You can now see that the microphones have changed and the speakers have changed position. Again, if we now go to focused, what we then get is is a change based on what we're looking at here. And this, the speakers have changed as well. We can then change um, the microphone style. So if we wanted to go for pendant microphones instead of tabletop microphones, we can then look at what is the difference from that and we can change the microphone height. Again, we can go to tabletop microphones. This will then move it automatically to a focused design because you can't put tabletop microphones on the floor. And again, we can then switch to the bars. So we have two options of bars and we can move this bar around to suit where it's going to be in the room. And then you can see the acoustics of the room. And again, if you change those acoustic levels, so if we then decide actually the room is a good room, you can see that changing. And if we go back to poor, you can see what the quality of the audio is and where the microphone is going to pick up. So if we go back to ceiling tiles and reset the microphone points. And we go back to a full room design. We can then hear what the room is like. So not only can we add more microphones, if we want to add more microphones to cover potentially where a speaker might be, or if there's, if there's somebody doing a presentation, we want to cover that, we can, we can add that in. We can also click on this um, hearing uh, icon and what that will allow us to do is click on anywhere in the acoustic room and it will give you an idea of what the noise will sound like based on the microphone pickup and that's all been done using our algorithms and calculators so when you're showing customers what this room looks like you could turn around and say well if we add another microphone this is how good the room will sound if we remove that microphone this is how how the room's going to sound are you happy with that mr customer ultimately your your discuss your discussions around budgets and microphones and how many microphones they want against what they're trying to budget and at least you can give them some options at this point and say well actually you know if you add another microphone you're going to get this quality if you remove the microphone yes you're going to save some money but this is the quality of the room and, and how would you like to configure that we can um, then go back to focused and we'll just put that back on the table solution there we can then look at the speakers in the room and again we can add more speakers if we feel like we need to if we want to have a a better audio reinforcement in the room we can add more speakers um we, again we can go to full room or focused on here like we did with the microphones and we've gone back to full speakers in there we can then look at cameras we've added a camera into the system and we can look at what the biome camera coverage would be so again it's, it's a nice screen that you can pass to your customers and explain to them well actually if we put this camera here this is the coverage you would expect for this room once you've designed your your room we can um save the file that will automatically put a link into your uh, clipboard which you can then send on to customers you can then revise that and save it again and you'll just add another revision to that so if you for instance design this room send it to your customer and they say no that's great but actually we're sorry the room was the wrong size or we want to add this extra microphone they can make those changes save it and send it back to you and Biant will hold every revision for design so if you have yours as revision zero, for instance, and they've made changes and it's revision one, 
and then you go back and you bait the changes again it's going to go to two and three and on, on onwards but you can go back to revision zero again and see what you originally designed if you decide to go back to that once everything's designed you might add multiple rooms and you have the ability of doing that here you can go to the equipment list and you can see what's been designed for the room and this will be a launchable design it's a single non-divisible room that we've designed here we can't do uh, divisible rooms on on conference room designer yet you can contact by amp we can support you with that with one of our fse engineers but what you have is a kit list now this kit list can be passed to by amp or one of our distribution partners to quote and then you'll be able to have the ability to um, install the equipment press launch and it will configure the room for you if you wanted to export this to send this to your customer you can press export this will generate a pdf and the browser is blocking a tab here at the moment but what you will have is the ability to produce a pdf which will give you all the screens you have here the heat map to the microphones the speakers and the ability to see all the room dimensions and all, all of the bits that's been configured already this will allow you to forward that on as a quotation and send on to your customers so they can have a look at it and ultimately you've agreed on what the specifications of the room are what the acoustics of the room are and that document can be used to to pass out and agree for everything and then you can go on and for order the equipment, install the equipment and have yourself a conference room that you can program with a, a single touch of a button and have an extraordinary audio visual experience. Thank you. And that just about covers it. If you want to learn more about Biomp's extensive product range or you're ready to purchase your Biomp meeting room bundle, make sure to visit our website now. As always, if you like the video, make sure to leave us a comment and subscribe for more product demos. We'll see you in the next one.